But now that you are done with C-Sharp fundamental part, it's time for me to fulfill one of the promise that I made at the beginning of this course. I told you I'm preparing you for the certification called Foundational C-Sharp with Microsoft, which is a basically a collaboration between FreeCodeCamp and Microsoft. And you can see one example or one demo of the certification here, something I got just to show you. And now let's talk about the certification in detail. How can you get the certification and from where you can get the certification? Again, I'm repeating, this is just a collaboration between FreeCodeCamp and Microsoft. I'm not promoting this one for sure, but whenever it's helpful for the student, I always love to do that. So one thing you have to do, you have to go to the freecodecamp.org, this website, and you need to make sure that you are signing in with your email account. So let me just show you here. I'm going to bring this browser here on this side. So go to the free code cam and make sure you are signed in. Okay, that's all. That's the first step. And the next step is go to the Microsoft.com website and also you need to sign in there as well. Let me open that and let me show you what do I mean by that. And there you go. It should open the Microsoft website and you need to sign in here as well. All right. So let's make sure you are using the same email address for both of these accounts. All right. Let's continue then. After you're setting up your email addresses in this both website, Next, you need to finish the learning modules in Microsoft modules. So what do I mean by that? I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it here. Of course, you can search it. There is nothing wrong with searching. So if you search with funda fundamental C Sharp Microsoft certification, it should bring you here. So you can see that learn C Sharp. And of course, I will add this link in the videos in this video description. So you can easily go to this link. So here you can see there are six modules, actually six path. This is the first one and it requires four hour 37 minutes and this part has many modules so there are six modules in this part and again each module there will be a lot of units as well but all together there are six learning paths you need to finish before get the certification exam so before you start the certification exam in order to go for the exam first you need to make sure you have finished all these six paths now let's talk about these paths a little bit more deeper so as I said, there will be total six path. Each path has multiple modules and each module has multiple units. So you can think like that inside one path, you have module inside module, you have many units altogether. It's 32 hours. But the good thing is I have already prepared you for this entire course. So maybe you can just go through those multiple choice question and you can answer in each unit. All right. And then here for part one, what you are going to learn in part one, it's basically you are going to learn C sharp syntax, variables, data types, string formatting, basic math operation, something you must already know if you have covered the C sharp fundamental course here. And then of course you uh, of course you are familiar with the part two, but of course you need to go through this part two by yourself and just you need to you know answer those multiple choice questions in order to make sure you are fulfilling the requirement. So here you're going to learn array, if else, naming convention, this and that. And in part three, you're going to learn about the Boolean expression, if else, switch, loop, or do I loop, for loop, those type of things. And then in part four, you are going to learn about here the different type of formatting, string, those type of things you are going to cover, how to use array methods, string methods, those type of things in part four. In part five, you're going to learn about methods, how to create a method, how to call a method, how to pass parameters, those type of things. And one good thing about each part, they have a like guided project. So they will give you some tasks you need to follow. And also they will also provide the solution in the end. And in part six, the last one here, you're going to learn something very essential for any software developer called debugging and exception handling. It's not just, you know, you will go through the documentation. It's better to read the documentation as well, because maybe you will learn something new that something you can apply in your knowledge. All right. And then you can go to the free CodeCam website and you can take all the quizzes. Let me show you here. So let's say here I'm going to search free CodeCam, free CodeCam, C Sharp fundamental certification fundamental certification and of, of course i'll make sure to add this link in this video's description so here if you go there c sharp with microsoft certification and then what you can do you can see there are different quizzes like if you expand you can see i have already completed them but in your case of course you need to complete these quizzes from six parts and then you will be ready for the exam. A very important step to remember that you have to connect your free CodeCam account with the Microsoft account. 
So if you go to the learn.microsoft.com and if you log in there, of course, then you can come to the menu or if you click in this one, it will show you the setting. So you can come to the setting and you can go to the transcript and from here you can share the link. So if you click the share link option and you can create a link or if you have already created one, you can copy that link and that link will be needed here when you are starting at the beginning in order to connect both free code camp and the Microsoft. All right. So after that, you will take the test and what about the test, how it's going to look like. There will be, let's say, a uh, hundred of question or 80 question, uh, if I remember correctly, and they are going to be multiple choice question. And I'm sure they are not very tough. So you will be able to do that if you have followed my course or if you have gone through their you know, documentation. And how can you get the certificate? Make sure you your Microsoft account is linked to free code camp. So in order to link, you need to go to the free code camp website menu from where, let me show you. So let's say you'll go here and then you'll go to the setting. And after that, what do you need to do? Let's make sure we are following the instruction from here. Go to the setting, update your name. So you need to update your name at the beginning, which you want to show in this certificate. And then scroll further down and click button indicating agreement. So you will go down, there will be somewhere it will show the agreement things. So you need to acknowledge here, you need to agree before getting the certificate. And then finally, you'll navigate to the foundational C Sharp with Microsoft section. There will be one section called foundational C Sharp Microsoft certification. And you can see that I'm scrolling down. That's the one you need to come here and then you can click to claim your certificate. So this is something we're talking after you pass the exam how to get the certification all right so that should be all and this should uh, you know give you some ideas how to get the certification and one more thing i would love to recommend you at the very beginning so after you complete all this path after you pass all these you know mcqs from all this path then only then go to the free code camp quiz finish those quiz take the exam and then claim the certificate that's what you should do I wish you good luck when you get the certification. Please do not forget to comment here so that I know this video helped you a bit.